All right. Time to piss off probably a significant portion of my base. Uh, because I've been meaning to say something like this for a while in video form, but something has just resurfaced the subject in my brain. Um, and I, I feel like I need to say this, but, like, I don't feel like a full-on video is necessary here. This is mostly just me, like, stating some opinions, talking some predictions, that sort of thing, and trying to emphasize some basic truths here that I think I can just convey person to person. Imperfections at all. You can see I've got some fucking face bumps right now, so... I'm not, like, a flawless human being. I've got some, you know, incorrect opinions, probably. This isn't one of them. You know? What I'm going to talk about today is uh, sovereign citizens and people who have uh, similar ideas to the sovereign citizen movement. And in this particular case, um, somebody sent me a video to uh, my, my Facebook DMs. I really should check them more often, because, like, I see some messages that, like, um, I should have seen sooner, so I'll be ad addressing those today. But, ultimately, uh, in this regard, I, I feel like, uh, this video basically speaks for itself. So, the guy sends me this. I'm not gonna say who he is, because, you know, it's not about fucking putting somebody on blast. Except the guy, maybe, that, like, <laughs> is responsible for the video. Um, but he sent me this video. And, you know, I, I saw this thing uh, in this video where this guy was basically... So his, his, his YouTube channel um, is The Silent War Will Be One Push Forward Warriors. And it's from a YouTube channel called Jesse Perez Casanova. Now, okay. Just to get this, like, really off the ground, I'm not making an attack on his character at all. What I am doing is, um... Criticizing the fuck out of his methodology here. Because... So the video is about, like, bringing somebody new on board to his, his activism. And what is his activism? Well, he, uh, <laughs> he runs something called Earth United, uh, which, which has a URL, earthunited.global. And the, <laughs> the site is a very professional-looking site. So it might fool some people. Um, and the people it's donated to, or sorry, the people it's dedicated to, I, see, I saw a donation link on here, and fucking put my mind out of place for a second. The, the, the people it's, uh, it's, it's directed toward are people who think that this site can give them all the necessary legal defenses they need. I'm going to read these pieces of paper they think, will stop the state. Notice of liability. Any man or woman acting for a service corporation, uh, notice liability is given. I, lowercase i for some reason, require obligation contract produced to jurisdiction upon entry or trespass occurs. That's not a sentence. Any woman, uh, it, it's, it, it's phrased poorly here, any woe or man attempting to administrate property, business, or I produce evidence that, see, this is just poorly written. One, who is the woe or man from said service corporation claim I property? A woe or man from said corporation can administrate property without right. Obligation uh, contract exists with service corporation to jurisdiction over my property. Otherwise, do not trespass. Trespass fine is set at $100,000 per woe or man involved. Fines increase by $200,000 for, for each additional trespass. 
dated January 1st, 2021. Now, if it's not immediately clear why this won't work, other than the fact that it's phrased extremely poorly and none of the entities described would even work in a legal framework with any government ever, um, the, the second thing is that that one was supposed to be like notice of liability uh, if police involved. <laughs> so basically they're saying if a cop comes to you flash this and the cop will have to go away <laughs> it's fucking hilarious and then like <laughs> it's basically the same thing uh for the second document so i don't know what this guy expected to gain from having two separate documents but basically uh his whole idea is that since the social contract can't be proven, which, to be fair, it can't, that in order to uh, effectively do any sort of legal action, uh, they would have to provide proof that that contract was signed by all parties involved. No, they don't. They don't have to do that. If they did they would have made that part of the legal framework. They don't have to do that because, as Bastial put it, the law has been perverted. The law no longer is about, like, protecting people. Um, the law is about protecting the interests of corporations and government entities. And they don't need your permission. They never did. Which is why the U.S., even at the start, even at the founding had not abolished slavery because they had no problem violating the fundamental rights of anyone they fucking wanted to. Um, this is a common theme. Okay? It's a common theme among the people who are involved in these uh, fucking... So I'm sweaty. I, I worked out earlier and it hasn't quite dried out yet. I tried a fan. I tried everything. It hasn't quite worked out. You know, it's it's almost as effective in this level of heat as these documents are against the state. Um, these documents represent, I think, a class of documents. A class of uh, magical thinking. Uh, to put it as charitably as possible, and I'm not kidding there. These people think that as soon as you utter this magic spell that the state will go away. And it really does boil down to that. Because ultimately, um, the state doesn't care what you say. If you're not doing what the state wants you to do, they will prosecute. They will bust down your door. They will engage in police brutality. They will be violent. Because the state is a fundamental monopoly on violence, and violence is all they know. When you join the state, when you become an agent, an officer of the state, you become a hammer in search of a nail. Plain and simple. Point blank. It doesn't matter whether you're serving papers um, for, for like lawsuits or ju jury duty or something. It doesn't matter if you're working at the local library or helping somebody get food stamps, you still fundamentally rely on force in order to get your funding, in order to get your shit established. You still fundamentally rely on force. And when these sovereign citizen movements try to use these magical thinking pieces of paper and words... Um, they fail on a nearly consistent basis. And the only times they don't are when they so magically happen to also coincide with real legislation. That's it. That's all. <laughs> I have seen so many videos. And every time it sucks to watch them. 
I'm filled with sadness and and rage because these people were indoctrinated by a school system that told them that the system was just. That all you needed to do was work within the system and you would get your due. And if you didn't, you would get your day in court and justice could be served. These people operate within that mentality, operate with that naive childish framework because they don't want to believe that the world is such a terrible place. They want to believe that they can still operate in a reasoned framework with these people. Because that's how the indoctrination system has made them. It's hard to stay positive watching this because I sympathize. I wish these people would follow ethical rules, but they fucking won't. I've watched people like show these pieces of paper or use the, the magic language and still get their windows busted out. Still be dragged out of their cars. Still have dogs sicked on them. Still be tased. Still be maced. Still be shot. Still be beaten. And that's just the police layer. Because once that initial punishment that for, for, for justice, for protecting and serving, is over, they have to go through the fucking court system. And that's not any more just. That's not any better. <laughs> That's just the same brutality over a longer time frame. So, these people think that if they flash these papers, they'll get, uh, they'll get out of things. That ain't happening. If it does, it's because the cop has better things to do and more profit to make that won't take that long. That they don't have to you know, have it on body cam, them brutalizing somebody again. It has nothing to do with the language you use and everything to do with whether the system wants to abuse you that day or not. It's 100% arbitrary. And the fact of the matter is that so many people have seen these people's videos or their social media posts and they think, as long as I use the right language or as long as I flash the right papers... That I will be free. You fucking won't. I'm looking at this site and it's like... It's so many tabs. So much advertising. So much news. And... Their solution is just... One... Tab on their site. Where you can download a notice of liability. For... Police or home or business. It's not real about us. A nexus port of all those who want to collaborate and enter a unified field of support in our efforts and actions toward liberation, true freedom, abolishment of corrupt world governments, and a final end of tyranny. Location. All God-given space and reality that our sovereign bodies are in outside of the corrupt judiciary and international financial system slash service corporations said two inches below a PayPal link. Peter Thiel and PayPal in general are responsible for a significant amount of financial corruption. Um, the Bilderberg Group on which he serves is part of those corrupt judiciaries and corrupt world governments. And you're saying that you're apart from it right below that. I would love freedom from those people. I would love freedom from all these people, but I still accept donations through it, and I'm not lying to people that they can get out of fucking jail free by flashing a piece of paper they printed out from your website
I'm not saying I'm separate from those people, because I'm not yet. I'd like to be someday. I'd like to be totally independent. I'd like to flash my sovereignty that I've fully earned. But that ain't happening yet. And it's not happening with you either. And this is the way it is with so many fucking people. So many people in this movement. And then they have this section, upload your natural slash universal slash galactic slash god-given slash cosmic law victories and successes here, dear Earth Warriors, so that we can, us, your victories to shine light for others. Us, your victories. You can't even fucking spell check and you think you can write legal language that can conflict with entire governments. In fact, you know what? Let me archive this right now. Because I want to make sure that this spelling error is forever preserved. Your legal documents are not legal documents. Your videos don't help that, and they don't make you any more legitimate just because you talked to a crowd of like 30 people. It's not real. You're not real. That's the reason why all this stuff has to be, you know, put through the lens of, like, galactic, God-given, cosmic. Because the real, true, grounded thing here is that in, in this reality, on this planet, these people are a corrupt gang claiming territory by a violence monopoly. And they don't, even if you did prove that these things aren't real that these that that their that their tyranny is entirely based on lies which to be fair it is but not in the way you're saying even if you proved everything you were saying in that regard you're not proving that they're going to respect that shit or that a piece of paper is going to save anyone if anything you're arming them poorly and <laughs> And this information will cripple them in the case of, in, in like, the, the, the actual instance of a legal situation. Because they'll think that this is all they need, and it's not. Share with the world your ability to stand within your own sovereignty. Share your steps taken toward freedom. Get ready to experience a new earth. How long has this site been here and the earth is still the same? I mean, it says 2020, all rights reserved, earth united. Which is funny because copyright is based in the corrupt legal system that you claim to oppose. So I don't know why you have that there unless you tacitly admit you kind of need to work within their framework in order to succeed. But, <laughs> I mean, has it been here for longer than two years? I mean, I know the ideas have been. I've been watching these videos for way too long. Unfortunately, people have been abused by police, have been thrown in jail, have had their lives destroyed because they thought they could beat the gang with words and paper. It's hilarious and sad at the same time. And, and and it's exhausting, just like so many of the other subjects I discuss, because I have never seen proof of this, yet they persist as though they have victories. And the person in the picture down here, uh, next to Get Ready to Experience a New Earth, says, Manifest the New Earth, True Freedom, Peace and Justice, EarthUnited.Global. Educate yourself in common law. And they have a David Icke book or something next to their face. I don't have a problem with uh, reading David Icke. I encourage it. He has a lot of good shit to say. But the idea that you're going to get out of it with a fucking printout. The idea that you're going to manifest the new earth? No. You're not going to manifest anything. The earth is not going to change because you wished it hard enough. 
That's not how any of this works. And it never has been. You think the elites manifested this? You think they manifested this into place? No. Through a slow, barbaric, brutal process of violence and codified systemic aggression, they have incrementally raised their power to the level where it is. That's the plain facts, yo. And acting like they're going to stop now because you flashed a piece of paper? When has that worked? When have people done that and succeeded in numbers significant enough that the legal system stopped doing shit to them? Never. Never. Not once. Either you have to find a legal framework for what you're doing or it's not going to work, which is why even on your own site, you, you have PayPal and you have <laughs> fucking copyright notices. I think they probably have the right intentions, maybe. I'm trying not to be super cynical. I really am. Because the alternative is that they know this isn't going to work and they're making a bunch of money by lying to people intentionally. That would be the worst. That would be a violation on a high order if they knew this was bullshit and they persisted anyway. And they're not the only ones either. There are so many people who think that you can magic your way out, that you can just, you know... Oh, I recognize you as a member of this terrible organization, and I never consented, and that means that you won't do these violent things to me now. No, it doesn't. The fact that you never consented and the system is as big and as overbearing as it is means precisely that you cannot succeed by claiming that you did not consent. They don't need your fucking permission, and they never did so frustrating it's frustrating to constantly see the best of the best in terms of mentality fail because they're not willing to actually take action because they'd rather hide behind political parties or sovereign citizen movements that don't actually do jack shit and have a proven track record of failure so that they can fight a highly immoral gang from what they claim is the inside. If the state didn't respect common law to get to the point where it is, why would it fucking start now? Because you printed something off a website. It fucking won't. The cops are going to laugh at you. Just like they always do. And the bootlickers in their comment sections will fucking thrust that cock right back into the back of their throat. Every single time. Because they don't give a shit what you want. And they never have. They're not paid to give a shit what you want. They're paid to be violent thugs with a fucking violence monopoly. The cops, the corrupt judiciary, the Bilderberg group, all these people... The technocracy that is slowly building up and getting empowered by the World Economic Forum so that they can force you to live in the pods and eat the bugs and borrow everything. They claim you're going to like that. <laughs> you know? They, they claim that this is going to be the new normal and everybody's going to be so much happier. And you think this machine is going to come to a grinding halt because you used the right words. You don't need a paper printer for what's coming. If anything, you need a different kind of printer. They have printed the entire world into servitude with printers. And yours, in your office, 
is not going to change that, improve your situation, or make you free. Freedom must be seized. It cannot be given. I just thought I'd talk about that. You know? I've seen so many of my followers think that this is going to be their saving grace. That they can get out of all this shit just by some sort of incantation, essentially. I told this person who sent it to me, I don't have much confidence here. The state is a gang of thieves. They never needed, nor are they bound by, the permission of the people. This is true and has been since the beginning. And I'm, I'm sick of seeing people who think that this is going to go away quietly. There is no silent war. And it won't be won. Unless by the silent war you mean the silent war on human rights and liberty and freedom. In which case, yeah, that might be won. But only by a bloody, brutal apocalypse with rivers of blood and years of darkness, the likes of which will make revelations look like a children's story. That's what's coming. That's the silent war. The slow loss of freedom while people quibble over a few scraps that they throw down to us like the dogs they think we are. The dogs on the leash, remember, that were <laughs> guided by the doctor, who's also on a leash, by this gigantic hand in the sky on that economist cover, owned by the banksters, owned by the rich ruling families, owned by entrenched power, supported by the World Economic Forum, supported by the Bilderberg Group, supported by the entrenched and corrupt governments and establishment shitheads who have rule over all of us, making you a dog and feeding you the occasional scrap. Oh, oh, we gave you legal weed in a few places. Now stop complaining, pro. Great. I can numb myself. Like when I ranted about hemp. Legalize whatever gets me high, right? Don't legalize anything uh, that could give me more freedom. Don't remove gun restrictions, no matter how racist, brutal, and cruel they are. Don't end the war on drugs entirely, because they still need to make massive amounts of profit. And help their control nets. And they don't care how many cartels they create. They don't care how brutal they make this place. Don't reduce regulation so that people can own more homes and live better on a day-to-day -day basis. Don't end the Fed and default on the dollar so that people's savings can mean a fucking damn thing again. Don't do any of that. Make sure to keep the structure as intact as fucking possible because that's what they really want. They want to give you the occasional attaboy for participating in the system and not giving up on them, no matter how much they've given up on your freedom and liberty, and turned you into slaves. And you think a piece of paper is going to save you? It's not. I want you to be free, sovereign citizens. I want you to be actually sovereign. But until we abolish the state, it's not going to fucking happen. And the more time and energy you waste going with these legal strategies that will not work and will only land you in further trouble with the state, wasting all these people's time and giving them false hope so that they pour their energy into a movement which will only move them into a jail cell if they try it, teaching the people that they can work with a legal framework to free themselves from a legal framework while they're still cattle on a tax farm in every sense of the word and while they still move through the same checkpoints in the same global panopticon that they're building for everyone else. Acting like this gives you power is so disempowering. 
and I just want you to know that there are alternatives and it's not that easy. If you want real freedom, you have to take it. You cannot ask your warden for the keys to your cell. Anyway, I just thought I'd rant for 30 minutes about this bullshit. I'm going to go make me some chili mac and try to relax because right now I'm agitated as fuck. If you like this video, feel free to like and subscribe and share it with all your sovereign citizen friends so that they downvote this video to fucking oblivion. It'll still be available on library even if my fucking <laughs> channel gets suppressed by an angry mob of people who think that magic words are going to change their lot in life. They never will. They never will. And I hope someday you realize that and seize freedom for yourself by once again smashing the state.